Hello everybody and welcome to another Twilight Zone review. Today it is season 3, episode 37, The Changing of the Guard, written by Rod Serling and starring Donald Pleasance as Professor Ellis Fowler. And this is the last episode of Twilight Zone season 3 and I have to say that the show ended the season on a high note due to Donald Pleasance's excellent performance and Rod Serling's equally excellent script. So this episode starts with a professor in a classroom and he's teaching his students some poetry and you can tell that this guy's really pumped he's really into this but the students look like they're not really caring they're not paying attention they're thinking about their holiday break but maybe they're paying attention a little more than he thinks this scene is a very good setup for the rest of the episode so the class ends and the professor tells everybody they passed and he's proud of them and he goes and has a visit with the headmaster who wants to see him and the headmaster says, you know, you haven't been reading your mail. And the professor, you know, just assumes it's some kind of contract signing like it is every year. But what it really basically is, is like a forced retirement that the school has decided they want to go, you know, with, with a new teacher, someone younger. As we learn that this guy, the professor, has been teaching for like 50 years. Wow, that's a long time. And you can tell that the professor would like to keep teaching and he's actually really devastated by this, which we'll find out even more as the episode goes. That's all this guy cares about is his teaching, but there's nothing he can really do about it. So he goes out into the hallway talking to some of his students and he's actually crying at this point. So you can tell that this guy is really upset. So he goes to this office and pulls out a weapon and he's contemplating doing himself in. So now we see how bad things really are. So we go to the next part of the episode. We go to the professor's home and he's talking to his housekeeper and he doesn't want anything. He doesn't want dinner. He's just very upset. He goes and looks at an old yearbook and starts randomly mentioning students that he taught a long time ago. And he says he's made no imprint on anyone. He hasn't motivated anyone. Basically, you know, everything he did was worthless. He made no impact at all. So he feels like he, you know, failed in his job to teach people as a teacher. You know, he feels he gave them absolutely nothing. So at this point, the housekeeper is very concerned, but when she looks, he has left the house. So we go to the next scene, and he's at the, the grave of a fellow educator, and he once again has the weapon, and he's ready to do himself in when he hears some school bells ring. So he stops to investigate that. So he goes into his classroom, and after a few minutes, all of a sudden, a lot of his old students appear there and we find out these are students from the past who have all passed away I believe from various things now they each tell different stories which are all different but they're all very interesting and and they have to do with a wide variety of topics so good job by Rod Serling there it doesn't come across as preachy it comes across as sincere and that's excellent writing and I'm not going to go into each specific individual story because I feel those are worth watching and experiencing for yourself. But let me just say Donald Pleasance's acting is also very, very good in this scene. And you really feel for this guy at this point. And what he basically finds out is that he left a lot more of an impact than he realized. And that's really the moral of this story is that you don't always realize the impact that you make on people's lives and that maybe each person makes more of a difference to others than they think it's just not always spoken out loud or shown and I feel this is a good universal lesson for anybody in any field in any walk of life so I feel it's a theme that's still very relevant today so an excellent job there so after he hears all the stories and is touched the students leave having accomplished their goal of showing him the impact he did make so now we get one last scene with the professor at home and he's in a much better mood he's talking to people out the window and he tells his housekeeper he's okay with retiring because he understands that his mission is basically completed and that there should be a changing of the guard because basically it's you know someone else's turn to to do this same thing so he realizes he did accomplish a lot and it's a happy ending which is appropriate for the end of the third season of the Twilight Zone. All in all I thought this was an excellent episode. It doesn't have the big Twilight Zone twist that we're used to but this episode doesn't need it 
because of how good the acting and the writing is, and it's just a sincere episode that can actually look uh, very inspirational, and I think it's worth watching. So I give Changing of the Guard a four and a half out of five. Should definitely check this one out at least once. I feel it's worth watching. So 4.5 out of 5 for Changing of the Guard. And as always, thank you very much for watching.